Tell us about your situation. What what brings you in? Well, um, uh, I was a welder in the plants, and uh, I welded for a couple of years out there, and uh, everything was going good, and it fell apart at one time. <laughs> I lost my dad, and then I got into a bad wreck, and I got an aneurysm in my stomach. So I was unable to, to work and uh, lost the insurance. I lost a lot of things. It was, started getting rough. Uh, my marriage fell apart. Uh, I just didn't have food or anything. Uh, so uh, somebody referred me to this place and thank God they, they've, they've been a big, big help. They yeah, help with whatever they can. You know, it's, it's been a really big help. Yes, it's, 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 it's like a pride issue where, you know, you, you want to, be more in control of things than you are, you know, and uh, I've come to the realization we all gonna need help. We need, I'll need help of some kind, any time to, to get you know, through the day, through everything. We all have to have help of some kind from somebody. And uh, I realize there's nothing wrong when you need help, you know. Um, I have had, you know, family help out here and there. I've worked a little bit of small jobs here and there when I could, but without these people, I, I don't think I would be able to I know I wouldn't have been able to make it this far, you know. Um, it, people might not say it, but I'll tell you, it does save lives and it does make a difference. It does. Um. Our home was hit more than once. It was hit with the hurricane. We weren't able to come back home. And when we did come back home, we had trees all over the house. Part of the, the garage was pushed in. Just It was just a mess. And we got that done and then not long after we were hit with a flood and uh, we had a, a car that was gone, uh, water in the house and had to get that repaired. And uh, we were just glad that we had uh, the Pantry of Hope to help us out. Pantry distribution is from nine to 11, but to tell you the truth, we have people come as early as two in the morning and they'll sleep out in their cars uh, on distribution Saturday. Like the older, our elderly that, that have, get Social Security and they only give them just a little bit of food stamps and they can't make it. And we had one lady in particular and she said she could just live off a little bit. And that's what she had been doing, just living off the bare minimum. And she's gaining weight. She, you could tell that before the Pantry of Hope that she would eat, probably eat like a bird. She was just kind of frail. And now she's just, you know, gaining weight. She's, you know, everybody have times that they go through something. And the pantry, not just the Pantry of Hope, but every pantry, we help. If you're hungry, we're here to help. I guess Lake Charles just have this resilient spirit that we're just going to, you know, just rise up, you know, from the ashes. No matter how many times we're here, we're trying to stand strong. This is our home. We just try to stand strong and rebuild and pray and keep God first and and that's the main thing keeping God first through it all keeps your mind you know stayed on just going forward instead of looking back at everything that has happened just keep pressing on. I live on a very limited income of 800 and something a month. I'm on dialysis three times a week right now. I applied for food stamps but didn't get them but I'll reapply later and uh, right now my son's out of work and so I find go, trying to go into the grocery stores and buy things it's like three times what it used to be so it's like causing three times more to you know, live. It's hard to make ends meet but with God's help we do it. So, If you would walk around this town you would pretty well see the poverty of the town because you've got people just suffering right now to make ends meet and a lot of people lost their homes to the storms and floods and that we had. A lot of people's out of a job because a lot of jobs shut down because of the situations and stuff. You know, when you're raised that you make your you make your own way and you pay your own way, it's hard to humble down and say, I need help. Uh, it shouldn't be, but it is. I know as myself, when I had to step down from where I was at to where I had to go to, it took a, it took a while to say, no, I need the help and I need to go ahead and accept it. And when you have people come up here and you, you talk to them and they give you the story of how they don't have no groceries in the house and they may have kids and you're looking at the little children like, 
and when you hand it to them and they're just so thankful their, their hearts is just overwhelmed to be able to get stuff it just blesses your heart it just makes you feel like wow you know if i could do more i'd do more